Hello, we are here at uh, Oddities. One second, loudspeakers. There we go. We are at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. Our booth is 195.97, and here is. Yes, by the entrance and main concessions, West and Pavilion. We'll yeah, we'll show you in a minute. But first, so, our booth. So our booth is slamming. It's also jacked up. <laughs> the wind started to blow wind here. Wind started to blow. <laughs> and that's okay. We like I have wind. no idea where the price is for that one. Now. <laughs> well, I'll find it. Redo it. Oh, it's way under there. Okay. okay. Anyway, so here is our furniture. You don't have to put me on. Furniture. We have all of our lovely antiques. Some of them I redid, some of them I didn't. Some people like a blank canvas, some people don't. We have some lovely art from a um, Columbus, Ohio artist. He's got uh, lots of lovely insects eating each other. So <laughs> pale green assassin with prey is this one. Carolina mantis with prey is another. So if you like bugs and or things like that. Come on this way. Come on this way. Just turn in one chair. Show them where it is. There's the this entrance. Is where we are. There's the cafe. The gates are still closed for the cafe. They are right here. Right here. Just so, follow the furniture while it's, while it's here. We have some artwork from Indiana and other artists today. I decided to sell some of my own personal collection and then we have some other artists who wanted to to display some other stuff so I said sure. We have our Power. I'm very partial to these because my daughter did them. So very partial. She also did this one, which is absolutely amazing. The Lorax. So yay. Um we have our coats. Edgar Allen coats. We have our wonderful squishy soft pillows. And the best thing about these is you can wash and dry them and they will puff right back up. I'm a very practical person. If you have ever met me, you will know this. Then we have our Edgar Allan Poe art. We have some little mini magnet tiles. We also have our Edgar Allan Poe wooden cutting boards. Don't want to cut on the pretty side? Flip it on over. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. Um, one of a kind medical device here? Yes, I need to play with that in a minute. We've got two death books. So these are the books that um, you, you have at um, funeral hmm. funerals. And there's a lot of other information like um, their death certificates and things like that. So we've got a couple of those. It's actually a husband and wife. So buy the pair and get them the hell out. Um, <laughs> our one of a kind, you know. I love you guys, but you know me, I'm honest. Get them the hell out of my booth, take them home, and love them. So this is my one-of-a-kind medical device. This is my violet ray for any of you guys who have not seen it. I do not know how complete it really is, but it is. it was only manufactured between 1915 and 1917, and um, it was manufactured by the AS Aloe Company in St. Louis. Uh, violet, they thought violet rays would cure everything, and they came to found, find out that electrotherapy, and I don't mean electroshock or ECT, just electrotherapy where it's a gentle current. We still use that today. Think of Icy Hot, but um, we, we still use the electrical part of it, but it, it does not like cure things. So then we have all of our beautiful medical items. Um, all of these either came from collectors of pharmacy stuff that I bought at auction, Eli Lilly. Yeah, so 50 is not just the only price we have. We also have some tens, fives, some twos. We've got all sorts of good stuff here. We've got price points for everybody. Then we've got a collection of antiques and other things that I have either collected or I'm getting out of my house. We also have sacred willow charcuterie boards. These could not be used as a good cutting board because it's soft wood, but beautiful charcuterie with a, with a live edge on these as much as possible. And then we have, of course, our books. Um, I just want to say a word about this. Yeah. Our books are coming. I promise you, after this show, I'm going to have a, a live and I'm going to sit down and explain why they were late because I feel like I owe you guys that. And um, tell you approximately when they are now scheduled to be out. But we have all of our wonderful books. We still have my 
Silent Night book, which is my paranormal fiction book, as well as all of the other ones. Um, so come on out, say hello to us. It's gonna be fun. This is the most vendors that we have had out here to date. The whole West Pavilion is full. Yes, the whole West Pavilion is wrapped, packed, and stacked. And then we've also got, we've got our postcards. We have new postcards for 2024, but Michael kind of mixed them in. And then we're having a sale on our, our repurposed books. So all of these books have been repurposed into journals. So you can write to your heart's content. Next year, we will have watercolor journals. So you can um, them. yeah, so we're, you know, we may print on books, but, and we may print postcards as art, but we're trying to do a little bit at least of recycling. So yay. Yep. That's our booth. That's our booth. Come see us today until six or tomorrow, Sunday until four. Awesome. Bye. See you guys later.